I tell you what, folks, after watching that 2020 Xfinity Daytona race, holy cow, man, I had to get this die cast. Sure, it's a, you know, a year before, but here's Jeb Burton's 2019 LS Tractor Chevrolet Camaro. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again, back with another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's car is going to be, uh, what is this? Jeb Burton's. Yeah, Jeb Burton's 2019 LS Tractor Chevrolet Camaro. Now, this paint scheme, I'll be honest with you, for most of the most of the time, this this paint scheme wasn't even really, I would say, relevant. I mean, yeah, it was cool it ran, but you got to think about it. They made so many freaking eight uh paint schemes in 2019 i mean it's so many different drivers in the eight car that there was so many paint schemes i'm talking there's so freaking many there's got to be at least four of just one number it's insane uh but this paint scheme is special because not because of the 2019 car because of the 2020 car the reason why i ordered this uh, of course i wanted it for quite some time because i'm a burton cat uh you know uh, earnhardt first burton second type of thing <laughs> uh you know this paint scheme was ran at the 2020 Xfinity season opener, and I was on vacation, so I got to watch that race on television. I tell you what, man, Jeb Burton had the fastest freaking car out of everyone, and he was driving the LS tractor paint scheme. Now, I don't know how accurate this one is to the 2020, uh, but I do know it's very similar. And I was like, you know what, man, I freaking want this paint scheme so freaking badly. And I tell you what, man, if he would, if they did not have that caution at the end, Jeb Burton could have won that freaking Daytona race. And it, it, who knows, it could have lent him a full-time ride with JRM the next season. I hope he finds a way to do it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this 2019 LS Tractor Chevrolet Camaro out of the box. Brand new out of the package. Here is uh, Jeb Burton's 2019 LS Tractor Camaro, and I tell you what, man, this thing is pretty darn cool. Uh, you have like this, I, I would, I don't know what you call it, like a Delta Blue, I guess you would call it, you know, just not a sky blue, it's a little bit brighter probably than uh, how it's appearing on camera, but you got the bold, bright, I'm talking Ferrari red numbers, right? Uh, like a Delta Blue, like a, like a, just like a, have you seen the Claritin commercials and like the sky? It's not like bright baby blue, but it's kind of like that medium tone for some odd reason. That's what it looks like. It looks like a freaking clarity commercial, but I tell you what, though, it looks very good. So you got Ferrari red numbers, you got a clarity and blue paint job. Uh, you got kind of like a transition pattern fade kind of going on here, but this is a JRM Camaro, and I, I tell you what, man, uh, if there is one car you want to drive in the Bowtie Stable, it is those JRM Camaros, because those things are freaking money at the play tracks. And you know what's kind of funny is like, a JRM... You know, Junior Motorsports for some of the cats who don't know what it means, but uh, uh, it's 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 in a way it's it's the reincarnation reincarnation of uh, DEI. You know, Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. Uh, you know, they're winning races, they're doing great. I mean, they got the A car for one, they got the one car, so that's two DEI numbers. All they need is that 15 car, and I tell you what though, I wouldn't be surprised if one day they went and got it, but. Then again, they have the nine car. The nine car is pretty darn good. I mean, they had the five for a long time. Uh, they got 88, you know. I mean, they, they're doing pretty good for themselves, I'll be honest. They got the seven, which is a big number for them. So, who knows? Uh, so, over here on the nose, you got LS uh, for an LS tractor. I will say, though, the, the, the grill down here looks like a freaking Challenger or something. Looks pretty cool. So, you got, uh, you got your very thin Camaro, uh, I guess you call it the ribbon. Uh, between the headlights and all that jazz, so you got Camaro there, got number eight, JRM, Moog, and a Brock Sudoku. Got your little light here, got a little light here. Uh, ooh, look at that three dimensional grill detail. I love that. Over here to the left side of the car, you got uh, Jeb Burton on the name rail. You got whatever that is. So you got a red stripe, Exalta, Alsco, LS Tractor, State Water Heaters, American Ethanol, uh, Safety Clean. Don't know what that is, don't know what that is, don't know what that is, and I don't know what that is. You kind of have like this uh, small transition pattern here. Now, I don't know on the real race car if it's like just a smooth, seamless transition. I have seen uh, where transitions that are like a blur effect where there's like no pixels. The die cast always have pixels because that's just how printing works. You know, think of it like a TV. Uh, there's like, a, let's say you have a TV that has 10,000 pixels in it, okay? Um, each one of those pixels represents a color, right? 
So you have a TV that has 100,000 pixels. Let me tell you, man, that thing's going to have a much better image than a 10,000 pixel. The problem is, is when you print these die casts, you have a certain amount of pixels. That's how printing works. You can look, you can print something off your computer and you'll notice little dots if you look super closely. That's because that's how printers work. They print ink in different dots and they do it 10,000 times and they make an image. So that might be part of that, but who knows? Uh, I got the number eight there. I love that font. Very nice. I wish they could get the original junior font though, if you ask me. Uh, so you got NASCAR Salute. So I guess this paint scheme, the 2019 one, was ran uh, during the NASCAR Salutes month, which I think was like mid-June to like uh, the, the July Daytona race or something like that. I got Simpson Mechanics were NASCAR Xfinity Series. There were last breaks. Check out the NASCAR there were last Cup Series. Uh, I got k and Mobile One, Holly MSD, and uh, ARP. Interesting. You got Goodyear there, Goodyear Eagle, a white side skirt. I like that, kind of a different accent color. Uh, go over to the back end of the car. You know, of course, you had that blue, so it's like a whoosh. And it, it just looks clean, man. It really does. And that red stripe there, that adds a little bit more uh, a little bit more depth to it. I, I'll be honest with you guys. It looks pretty good. Over here to the caboose of the die cast. I mean, you got like a, like an archway a back spoiler, ironically enough. I wonder if they're going to make a new uh, Xfinity car soon. I'm kind of curious with the cup car getting a new mold. Uh, not a mold, but you know, an actual new generation car. I wonder what the Xfinity cats are going to do. Because I I don't know. Who knows what they're going to do. I got your, uh, your Camaro tail lights here. LS Tractor got the number 8 there. Got uh, Racing Electronics, Bosch, and Mac Tools. It's kind of cool how JRM turns this into an unofficial contingency sponsor location. I have never seen another race car do it. But this little corner right here is uh, a JRM contingency area. Also, notice how many contingencies are on the Xfinity diecast. Compared to a freaking cup car. It's, it's insane. I got the Camaro logo there. Uh, once again, uh, you got, I guess, six exhaust pipes on here. Because you got two pipes here. And you got two here and two here. I never understood that. I guess it's just... I, I guess they want to make the car look a little bit more lifelike. But why? I mean, you clearly have exhaust pipe on the side. I don't know. And over here to the right side of the car. I mean, you just got all those contingencies. You got your red ribbon that kind of... You know, it starts off with the Camaro headlight uh, ribbon, and it kind of makes a little uh, little beeline up here to the NASCAR Salutes logo. But you can see, like, a sharp edge there uh, with the pattern. It kind of swooshes up. I mean, that red right there, folks, that is just fabulous. I mean, wow, that is just bright Ferrari-esque red. Beautiful. Uh, over here on the roof, of course, you got your little skirts right here on the top. Uh, you got LS Tractor over the roof flaps. You got Burton, which, oh, my God, that's so freaking cool. Jeb Burton. Dude, they better make a Harrison Burton uh, 2020 Xfinity car with the Joe Gibbs Racing Joint. If they do that, oh my god, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I hope they make it. You know, they never made a Harrison Burton truck, which is which is a load of bull. Uh, you got <laughs> LS Tractor over here on the deck lid. But you know with Lionel Racing, uh, they can get the most amazing looking paint schemes and they'll find every reason in the book to freaking cancel it but oh we get the joey logano paint scheme every year that looks the same oh yeah no in my opinion i think the pre-order system's kind of broken i do think it could be reworked i do think it needs to be um uh, reformed a little bit better you know i only pre-order when the cars are officially made like they officially make the moq or whatever they call it when they're going to get made then I pre-order, like, the, the Kevin Harvick car. You know, you know almost every single Harvick car is going to get made. But when they release that shipment report, it says on this day in February, this car is going to get shipped out. I'll have my pre-order ready to go. Uh, but pre-ordering a, a 2020 die cast in the dog days of summer of 2019, you, you can forget it. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't know. Some people like to pre-order super early. I just personally don't. Because too many cars get canceled, and I, I don't want to take a chance of uh, them charging me or something. Anyways, folks, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Let me know what y'all think about this 2019 Jeb Burton LS Tractor Chevrolet Camaro. I think this thing's fabulous. Look, if you're a stop motion cat, you like Xfinity cars, I tell you what, man, this is the one and only eight car you need for 2019. This thing is a banger. Wow, this thing is just freaking 
awesome. And to be honest with you, the quality of it's actually pretty darn good. I mean, compared to the cup cars, this one actually, uh, I think they actually, you know, spent a little time on this one, believe it or not. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my new content, folks. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at DieCastBuffet. Uh, hope you're having a great one. DieCastBuffet. Signing off. Thank you.